Greetings, friends. Far and wide, I'm coming to you from the Northern Hemisphere where we are deep in the throes of summer. This yoga for anyone video is designed to get your heart pumping and brow sweating. This session builds upon itself as we grow a flow together, expressing how wild we truly are. I'm Allison, and I'm just another yogi. Let's go ahead and get started in a standing position today. Tadasana. Make sure your hips are directly over your knees. Press into the outer edges of your feet before pressing the bottoms of your feet down. Hugging in your core, hands on your hips, dropping the shoulders, arms lengthen out at your sides, collarbones wide, palms facing forward, chin parallel to the mat. Mountain. Breathing in and breathing out. We'll go ahead and set our attention for practice today. This can be gratitude for showing up. Or just an expression of love for the sun, palms at the heart, breathing in, breathing out. Let's go ahead and sweep the arms up high overhead, palms kiss. Exhale, hinge at the hips, dropping your hands down in front of your feet, halfway lift. Bend the knees, you're going to step your left leg back. Dropping that knee down, sliding the foot out. Coming up into Andreyanasana. Fingertips on either side of the foot, pressing the collarbones forward again. Gaze is slightly lifted. Hip pointers forward. And then tuck, untuck the toes of your left. Step your right foot to meet the left. Coming into downward facing dog. Now you can bend your knees here. You can walk your dog. First the left leg, then the right. Do that for a little bit, getting your arms into position alongside your ears. Palms down. And then really lift those hips up high. Feet gravitate towards the back of the mat. And just for a breath here. And then you're going to press forward, dropping the knees onto the mat, sliding the feet out. Coming into tabletop, wrist strengthening. Lifting up the left hand and then dropping it back down. Lifting up the right palm, dropping it back down. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists as you do this. Left side, right side. Keeping the fingertips pressing into the mat, left side, right side, and then both palms together, lifting up, dropping back down, lifting up, dropping back down. We'll then go ahead and sink into cow, pressing your heart forward again, chin alongside the mat, and then exhale, curling up into cat, really tucking that tail, dropping the chin. And inhale, coming back into cow. And then exhale, use that as a transition back into downward facing dog. Hold here for a breath, lifting those hips high. Kick up the left leg up high and then step it forward between your palms here, dropping the right knee down now. Coming into the low lunge on the other side. Fingertips brushing the left foot, pressing the heart forward, and then untuck that right, the right toe, stepping the right foot to meet the left. Forward fold, and then bend the knees, slowly curling up to standing, coming back into Tadasana. Palms forward, breathe in, sweeping the arms up, palms kiss. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Halfway lift, and then step your left leg, dropping that knee back to the mat. This time we're gonna lift up off of our waist, so go ahead and take the arms off of the waist, alongside your ears, or you can have your hands just below your knee. Palms can kiss if they want. Breathing in, pressing that heart open and forward. And then exhale. Breathing in one more time. And on your next exhale, frame the foot. Step the right leg to meet the left. Downward facing dog. All right, come into a plank. And then drop the knees, drop the feet, and then using your chest, go ahead and slither forward into cobra here. Elbows at your sides, heart forward, hips and waist on the mat, and then bend the knees, coming back into downward facing dog. Inhale, kicking that left leg up high again, stepping it between the hands, dropping the right knee down, right foot down. Lift your arms high off of the waist here. Hip pointers forward. And then on an exhalation, you're going to bring the arms down, framing the foot, 
The right foot's going to step up to make the left. In a halfway lift, bend the knees, slowly roll all the way up, back to mountain pose. Palms facing forward. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, do a little back bend here. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bend the knees. Step the right foot back. This time we're going to keep it up high, or you can drop the knee back down if you want. And go ahead and lift your upper body up, arms alongside your ears. You can bend your knee to get into a stable position here, and just slightly before lengthening that leg back out, hip pointers forward, high lunge. And then on an exhalation, come down, frame the foot, step the left to re meet the right. Immediately into plank, dropping the knees and the chest down, sliding back into cobra, elbows at the side of your body, and then bend the knees. Coming into child's pose. Take a breath here, relax. Hips on the feet, arms out in front of you. Breathing in, breathing out, and then press back into downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up high, step it between the hands. High lunge, other side. Now you can press up all the way up with your arms, or you can have your hands just below your knee. You can bend your left knee a little bit before lengthening it, lengthening it back out. And then on an exhalation, frame the foot, step the left foot to meet the right, forward fold. And then sweeping up to Tadasana again. Now arms back up, palms kiss. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Forward fold, halfway lift. Bend the knees. Step the right leg back. Bringing the arms up. High lunge. You can bend that knee again if you want to. To find your center of gravity. Now frame your foot, coming back into downward facing dog. Lift those hips up a high and then coming forward into plank, holding for a moment before pressing all the way down, lifting up into cobra, forehead kisses the mat before coming to your knees, pressing back into downward facing dog. Kicking the right leg high, bend that knee, step it between your hands. High lunge, other side. Roll your shoulders back, arms lifting up high overhead, palms kiss, gaze forward. Lengthen that left leg and then frame the foot, step the left leg to meet the right, halfway lift, bend the knees. Swinging all the way up, palms kiss, dropping the shoulders. Tadasana. It's summer, it's hot, grab some water here real quick. Just take a real fast sip of some water before we get back into Tadasana. To come to the top edge of your mat and align back with mountain. Feel it underneath your feet, the stability of the earth, hugging in your core, arms at your sides. And then inhale, sweeping the arms up high overhead, palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees. Set the left leg back. Warrior two. Your right leg is going to bend and it's going to be directly in the middle of your left foot or slightly behind. You can lengthen it to get into position here, make, making sure your hip pointers are facing alongside the long edge of your mat. And then you can bend your knee again to get back into position. Once you feel stable, Lengthen your arms out to your sides, shoulder height, and then your gaze will be over your right arm. Press a little deeper with each exhalation. And relax with each inhalation. Sink a little deeper, and then windmill the arms down, framing that foot, stepping the left foot to meet the right. Halfway lift, bend the knees, sweeping back up to dasana. Immediately come back down, halfway lift, bend the knees. We're going to step the right foot back now. Same thing. You can straighten both legs here to help align yourself, getting those hip pointers forward. And then once you're ready, you can really bend that left knee and then lengthen your arms out to your side. Your gaze will be over your left arm now. Sink a little deeper with each exhalation and rest with each inhalation. 
And then on your next exhalation, you're going to windmill the arms down, framing that left foot, stepping the right to meet the left, halfway lift, bend the knees, slowly roll all the way up, Tadasana. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Bend the knees, stepping the left leg back. This time you're going to do Garudasana arms, eagle arms. So get into position for your warrior two, sweeping the arms out long. And if you can, you can take your left arm underneath your right and then palms will kiss. Or if that's uncomfortable, you can just cross one arm on the opposite shoulder or one hand on the opposite shoulder. Once you have your position, gaze is going to be over your right shoulder. Bend a little deeper with your knee. Nice and proud eagle arms. Warrior two. And then release the arms, windmill them back down, frame the foot, step the left foot to meet the right, halfway lift, bend the knees, sweeping back up into Tadasana. Inhale, palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold. Set the right leg back. Garudasana arms, other side. Again, you can hug yourself here if you want, or you can even have your arms out long if you want. You don't have to do eagle arms. Take your right underneath your left. Palms kiss if they can. Bend deep, nice and deeply with your left leg. Try to get that knee over the ankle. Gaze is forward or over your left arm, and then release. Windmill the arms down. Take the right leg, step it up to meet the left. Halfway lift. Bend the knees, sweeping back up to Dasana. Palms kiss at center here. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step the left foot back. Warrior two. You can do whatever you want here. You can do the Garudasana arms. You can do the variation of hugging yourself. Arms out. But go ahead and windmill them back down. And then step back into downward facing dog. Plank. Bend the arms all the way down to the mat. Drop the knees and then sliding into cobra. Keep those elbows tight at the side and then step back into downward facing dog. Kick the left leg up high. Coming into warrior two other side. Arms out alongside you or hugging into your chest or eagle arms. Catch your breath. And then go ahead and lean a little deeper before windmilling the arms down. Set the right leg to meet the left. Halfway lift. Bend the knees. Sweeping up. Tadasana. Let's go ahead and grab another sip of water here. We'll meet at the top edge of the mat. Sweeping the arms up high overhead. Palms kiss. Exhale, bend, <laughs> forward fold, bend the knees. We're going to come into a halfway lift here, number seven. So paint your hands up along your thighs. Nice and strong, number seven. And then just walk back into downward facing dog, lifting the hips high. Coming into Chaturanga Dandasana. You're going to lower the elbows all the way to the mat. Slide the feet out, toes kiss. Heels fall open, arms alongside your body, gaze is over the left, your cheek is touching the mat, and you're breathing, and relaxing. Use this time to refocus your intention. Now gaze is over the right shoulder, breathing in and breathing out. Now bring your chin to the mat. You're going to take your hands underneath, feeling them underneath your hip pointers here. And then go ahead and lift up your right leg, lengthen it, toes pointed, dropping the leg back down. You're going to lift up the left leg now, really nice and long, toes pointed. And you're going to feel the hip pointers underneath your hands. And then you're going to lift both legs up at the same time, dropping them down, getting ready for locust here. Cactus arms, and now lifting both up. Exhale, you're going to lift a little higher. Inhale, you're going to sink deeper into the pose. Exhale, lifting the upper body up high, lifting the legs high, and then dropping all the way down to the mat. Catch your breath. I'm going to come into wild thing. So make one long line with your right leg and your right arm. Your head is going to rest on the right arm. And then take your left leg behind you, bend that knee, 
and take your right arm out in front of you and you can tent your fingers here. You'll take your left leg back a little bit further if you like and really stretch out the top part of the body one direction and the back part of the body the other direction. Really feel the opposition here running from one side to the other and feel the support of the earth. If you want to take your arm overhead, you can, or you can do it slightly behind you. If you want to go for a different feel in the pose, I'll breathe in and breathe out and feel as wild as you want to. And then go ahead and release coming back to the mat. And we'll do the other side. Lie out nice and long on your left side now. One long line of the fingertips all the way to the toes. Take your right leg behind you and your right arm in, in front if you'd like to feel that opposition. You can take that right leg back on the tippy toes here to really feel that opposition pulling forward with the upper body and backwards with the lower body. Or you can take that arm up high overhead again if you want to. However you want to express yourself here into your practice. Breathing in and breathing out. Release, coming back to the mat. And then walking back into child's pose, hips resting on your heels. Now walk those hands up, sitting in a hero's pose, arms nice long, fingertips brushing the mat. Just a hug in the core, catch your breath. And then you're going to untuck your toes and sit a little bit higher now. And what you're going to do once you get in position, you will sweep your arms up high overhead, lifting off of the waist, expanding your body, expanding your mind. And then sweeping forward, coming into a rabbit variation here, dropping the elbows onto the mat, parallel with the mat. And then you can walk back up. And then slide your legs out in front of you. Coming to the top edge of the mat with your feet. Take a sip of water here. It's our last water break. Place the water to the side. And then you're going to bend your knees and roll all the way down onto your back. One vertebrae at a time, arms up high overhead, then take your knees and hug them into your chest, rock side to side. Drop your left leg down, take your right leg and place it over your left. Figure four. So you're gonna kick up the left leg and you're gonna pull it into your chest. And you can press into the, the knee with your right arm if you want extra resistance, or you can just hold on to the back of your left thigh. Breathing in, bring it, breathing out. And hug the knees back into the chest. Now you're going to drop the right leg down and cross your left leg over your right before kicking back up. You can flex or point your toe here. You can hold, press into the outer, your left knee if you'd like for extra resistance. Or you can just hug the knees into your chest and breathe. Feel that hip stretch. Now go ahead and bend the knees back into the chest and then cradle your head here with your arms, elbows out to the side. I'm going to do some yogi bicycles, some sit-ups. So go ahead and lift up with your belly, cradling your head, dropping back down. Exhale, lift up with your belly, keep the chin pointed to the sky. Exhale, bring the belly up. Inhale, drop the belly down. Exhale, up, down. And yogi bicycles here, stretch that right leg out, bring the right elbow to the left leg and then reverse your left elbow to your right leg you're going to lengthen your right leg and bring your left elbow to your left and then crisscross I know I'm getting this all messed up crisscross here go a little bit faster and then hug the knees into the chest you're finished feel that sun energy permeating permeating every pore before sliding the left leg out then the right Tucking the shoulders underneath your chest. My goodness, smile. It is summer and we are alive. This is what it's like to be alive today. Feel the sweat cooling off, cooling your brow. Take a deep breath in. 
long breath out. Another deep breath in together. Another long breath out. You can stay in this summer sprinted Shavasana as long as you like. There's no rush. There's nowhere else you need to be. But here and now. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Namaste.